everyone Lisa here AK Crafting Diva thank you for joining me again today and I've got a brand new set of videos for you featuring this brand new collection of stamps I've just been sent from craftstash.co.uk uh, the stamps I've just been sent are from the pretty quick range and are going to be available for sale right now on craftstash.co.uk um, like I say these are going to be a brand new collection of Christmas stamps and the st uh, products I've just been sent are the Christmas candle stamps set and the Christmas Noel stamp set I'll be doing my second video using the Christmas Noel stamp so it might be nice for you to keep your eyes out for that stamp set but for today's video I'm going to be mainly using the Christmas candle stamps um, a bit about these stamps these are photopolymer stamps really good quality and give you impressive results every time you use them and the first time you use them as well um, the concept of these brand new stamp sets is that the stamp set contains all the elements that you need so that you can complete a card in one go just using this one product. Um, this set contains six stamps, like I say they're really good quality stamps, great value for money and the extra special thing about these stamps is they've been made that extra little bit thicker so that when you stamp the stained glass candle design it really gives you that stained glass feel because your image looks that little bit thicker with the outline being that little bit thicker and the set stamp set itself contains like I say six stamps you get this gorgeous holly boulder leaf stamp a poncetia stamp this stunning large stained glass um, design with a candle in also in the set is this brilliant season's greeting stamp that's been designed in this curve shape so that it will follow the stained glass topper perfectly and then to complete the set you get these two lovely large stamps that have been designed so that you can use them for your inserts in your card or to use them as your main feature on the front of your card design so this is the product I'm going to be using today and for start with I thought I'd show you how we can make this season's greetings card that features the stained glass topper on the front and inside you've got a gorgeous matted and layered stamped in insert so let's get started so to make this card what we need to do is take a piece of spare white cardstock and our large candle stained glass stamp and I've got myself some black versafine ink and I've stuck my stamp to an acrylic block I want to add plenty of ink to the stamp like so and then we want to stamp this onto our piece of white card stop giving it a nice bit of pressure all over so we get a nice stamped image once we've done that we want to quickly add some clear embossing powder to this and once we've heated it with our heat gun you'll end up with your topper looking like this really nice thick deep impression gives it the real feel that it is stained glass design once we've got that you go on from there and I've got some Copic markers and you just want to start adding a bit of colour to your design like so to make it come to life you carry on doing this blending your colors together and once you've done the whole image and cut it out it would look like this and as you can see it really does stand out and look really impressive so once we've got that we want to make our stamp top up for behind and to do that what I've got is a white die cut circle this is approximately 11 and a half centimeter circle and I found this is the best size for our topper to fit in the middle and give us enough space around the edge so that we can stamp our message what I find best to do is take our topper place it into the center and use a pencil to draw around lightly so we've got a guide of where we need to stamp then I've got the season's greeting curve stamp and we want to again ink that up with a bit of versafine ink and we want to start following the circle shape of our circle die cut like so and we keep going round all the way round until the whole circle is covered like so it looked like this and as you can see it looks really impressive once we've got that we want to bring back in our stamped stained glass 
uh, image, add some tacky glue to the back and stick that to the centre and as you can see it makes a stunning topper for any project you'd like to make. I've gone on from there and I've just covered a square card and matted and lay a bit of pattern paper and made sort of a cross design with my papers and then we want to bring in our topper, add some tacky glue to the back of that and stick that to the center of our design and for the insert all I've done again is matted and laid some paper and then I stamped the uh, message Christmas wishes and the little uh, holly leaf border just to add a finishing touch and I think you'll agree that's a really nice Christmas card that anyone would like to receive. Another design that we can make with the stamps is to actually use the whole stamp set to make our own stamp background and for the insert this time again I've used the holly leaf border to go all the way along and then I've made my own little sentiment topper for the middle. So to make this design again what we need to do is stamp, colour and stick together our candle topper element and then for the background piece to our card design what I did was I got a piece of white cardstock and I took the little poncettia flower and the leaf border and I've made myself my own backing paper by going along stamping round repeatedly uh, the poncettia and the leaf border and then I've took some nice copics coloured it in and matted and layered it then what we want to do is bring in our coloured um, candle topper add some tacky glue to the back and stick this to the top of our card design and then for the finishing touch I took the actual large sentiment from the stamp set stamped it in versifying ink on a nice white rectangle die cut and matted it on the same blue we want to 3d that to the bottom of our card like so and then like I say for the inside I just did the same stamped the leaf border top and bottom and then to make the little sentiment for the inside I used the holly leaf board and made a nice little stamp frame and stamped the message Christmas wishes so as you can see from this one stamp set we've made two complete cards using all the elements for the stamp set and just adding a few little touches like some gems and a tiny bit of backing paper so the products I used to make both these cards were from the pretty quick range and it was the Christmas candle stamp set. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video and it really gives you an idea of how you can mix and match your stamps to make some absolutely lovely Christmas cards by just using one stamp set, a few pens, um, an ink pad and a tiny bit of backing paper. I uh, would love to read any of your comments. Please keep your eyes peeled for my next video featuring the Christmas Noel stamp set. Um, thanks again and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.